Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time. If it is and you don't know who I am, my name is Taylor and I love doing makeup. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a look that I had up for a poll on Instagram whether you wanted one look or another and most everybody voted for one look which was the Irish flag for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to be doing that today and I decided um if you saw the post there was the Irish flag with a little clover up here and then like a green wing and a pot of gold here. I'm going to do both the clover and the pot of gold still with the Irish flag. So, because I, I don't know, it, I felt really proud of that little pot of gold. It took a lot. It was fun to do, and I just want to share that. So, that's what's going to be happening today. If you're excited for that, then keep watching. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and we are just going to get started. Now, I do have to talk about the fact that um, every color I got for my Irish flag was from a different palette. So... I'm going to do little swatches and show what colors I used. I'm sure everybody has their own greens and oranges and whites and everything that they can use. But um, So for the green, I used this green in my Fall Feels palette. It's very dark and very... Ooh, a little too bright there. Very green. <laughs> It's the only green I really have. The Unagi in the Friends palette is just too, like, blue. And then for orange, I used Canyon in my Hip Dot palette. Only orange I have. But my Conspiracy palette from Jeffree Star Shane Dawson is shipping today. I got the email, so I'm really looking forward to that. It has so many more colors that I've never even played with before and I, I can't wait for you guys to watch me play with the Jeffree Star palette for the first time I guess. I hear they're pretty intense. Okay and then for the white, sorry, um, I used my friend's palette and just a little chick there. So those are all the swatches together. You can't really, there we go. Perfect. So those are the three colors that I used. If you have different shades of what I used and everything obviously use that if you're you know going along with this tutorial I don't know who does or who doesn't but if you do awesome that makes me happy okay so I did do my eyebrows off camera and then I prepped my eyes with my elf putty eye primer and dipped into my tart fall feels palette forgot what it was called for the homecoming shade to add a little bit of base. Right now I have Canyon, the orange, on my brush and that's from the Hip Dot palette. And I'm just going to start by getting it in the corner first and then I'll work on flaring it out. But I want to take it to about here and then flare it out. And I do want to be making sure that I also get it on the lid. It's too about well there. Perfect. And once that is all placed, I'm going to get back into my little buffing brush and buff it out a little. Blend it. Blend it. 
So I did bring it up a little bit higher. Um, because I really want it to be seen. And I think that's good for the orange. It's a little, uh, a little uneven on that side. And then I want to, um, the smallest brush that I have that really works for this corner that I'm going to do is my little eyeshadow brush. So I'm getting into that and I'm getting into the green and the tart teal. What is my problem with this palette today? Fall Feels palette. And I'm just going to very dinkily place it and bring it up to about there. Alright, now that I have a basic outline there for what I want, I'm going to get back into my little detailing brush. Got to wipe the orange off first and just even that out. I guess I could have used this brush from the beginning, but I just wanted to be careful. All right, so those two things are done. And now, last time I was able to do this without adding any more primer or anything, but I'm gonna get right into the chick, the white, with my finger, because with this friend's palette, that's just how you wanna do it. I'm going to... That is incredibly white. I love it. Okay. I'm going to see if I can kind of even it out with a brush just because I don't want to go up too high with my big, big fingers. So I've got my Koki brush and I'm just going to... I'm going to swipe it into the orange and into the green. I got a little too far over into the orange. Okay. So that's what we have right now. I obviously want to fix up this orange side but instead of getting back into the hip dot I am going to just swirl my brush into the shimmery pumpkin patch and just place a bit of shimmer on top. I'm going to take this brush no product on it and just blend this out a little smooth it out. Because I use that little brush, I feel like when I go to do my typical inner corner cleanup, I'm really not going to have to do much, but I always do, whether there's fallout or not, just for precision's sake. I am going to put a little bit of highlight in the inner corner when we get to that, but for now, this flag look is done. We're going to... I don't think I have room for a clover or anything. I brought that up really high. Um, but to make the little clover, I took my new e.l.f. eyeliner brush and... <clears throat> excuse me. I just sort of had to wing it here, but...
This doesn't really look like a clover, but it's the best I can do with this little brush. I need to get some even more eyeshadow brushes. Can you ever have enough eyeshadow brushes? And my favorite part, the pot of gold. I just used my eyeliner and this part is really tricky, so hopefully I can do this on camera. I just made a little circle. Kind of cauldron, pot of gold shaped. And then that same brush that I just had, that I put away. <laughs> um, I did finish the rest of my Tarte Stay Spray. So we are on to the Milani Matte, um, Matte Charcoal Setting Spray. And I really just love this. And I'm going to spray my brush with it and getting back into the fall feels. This is a really... I never realized how versatile this palette was. Dip right into the gold and just let me do this in a mirror. <sighs> Love a little extra. Oop. Oh, I can't figure out how to hold it. A <laughs> little bit of gold in there. We want to go incredibly extra with it, which of course I do. That's my life. We'll get into the gold glitter. That is a lot. You know what? It's fine because it'll mostly fall off. And oh, how cute is that? And for the rainbow, I just did the same thing. I took this little tiny brush. I got to clean off all the glitter and I just started dipping into colors. Um, the Friends palette has the most so we'll use this green. And I pinched the brush while I was wiping it off to try and make it skinnier. I wish I had not done everything up so high because now it's kind of going into my eyebrow, but you live, you learn. I really wanted the flag to be big because I just love it. I think that's so cool. So we got some green. We'll swipe into blue. Now normally I would put some eyeshadow on my lower lash line, but my eyes have been watering really badly lately, so I'm just going to leave that. I did just spray myself with setting spray off camera so everything would stay, but this is the finished eye look, um, except for mascara and a little bit of highlight. That clover is ridiculous. I don't I don't want to try to make it rounder and ruin it, so I'm going to leave it, but hopefully you guys have like a round brush you can use. Um, I'm going to do my foundation and everything off camera just because it takes forever and it's so boring to watch even when I speed it up. Today I'm going to try out this IT primer again. I used it once and I really did like it. Unfortunately, I had to remove my makeup shortly after I applied it just because I don't remember why, but I did. So I didn't get to really truly test it out. So I'm going to use this and I am going to be using my... Tarte foundation today because I'm trying to use the rest of it up before I move on permanently permanently to my Maybelline which I'm loving. I really really am so glad with this. I did not think it was going to be so great but it is. It is great great coverage and it does last a very long time. Um, I wouldn't say 24 hours of course but I think there was a day I had makeup on for at least eight to nine hours and 
I didn't look too bad at the end of the day. My makeup had faded a lot, but it wasn't like, it wasn't terrible. Okay, primer and foundation are on, and mascara is on. I used the ColourPop BFF mascara. I am liking it, but I feel like it's not quite as, like, waterproof as I'd like when I wear my Man Eater mascara. If my eyes get watery, it doesn't, like, get off my eyelashes. It tends to stay on. It's not waterproof, but it doesn't, like, beat up or clump up or run. But this ColourPop does so I kind of have to be careful with it but I do really love how full and everything it makes my lashes and how long they look and everything so I can't complain it's just something that bugs me I'm using my hip dot bronzer again because I really loved that video I did the other day where I placed it all and it looked dark and ridiculous Ooh, that's a little too high and then I blended it out. And that brush I was using to blend it out, if you guys saw that video, was the e.l.f. Um, blending brush. And it's honestly my favorite thing ever right now. I feel like I'm doing a full-on bronzer tutorial again. So I just take this brush. I got this brush from an Ipsy bag, so I'm not sure what it is. But, ooh. And just take that and dot it all over where I want the bronzer. And then I just get this big, beautiful, beautiful e.l.f. blending brush and blend it out. I'm not going to use the hip dot blush because I'm not a fan of it, unfortunately. I am just going to get straight into my Tarte blush palette. Make every moment count. And this one down here, I do believe, is love. So... I like to mix love and live just realized that I did not blend out the bronzer by my nose That would have been embarrassing. I am going to use the Hip Dot palette, face palette for the highlighter though because I do love it. It's pretty much my new thing. It's blending everything with this once it's on my face. Alright, I really wish I had like a green or orange or some lipstick that would match this look, but I don't, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use yet. Okay guys, I did something kind of crazy. I used some eyeshadow. My <laughs> face looks very shiny because I just sprayed it with the setting spray, but green lips? I don't know. This is interesting. I like it. I feel like it's not me at all, but I like it. I used um, Unagi from the Friends palette and then that same green shade that's up there. Um, I don't know. Interesting. It'll come off pretty easily and I'll probably just throw a red lip on later, but 
I don't know. It's new. I like it. It's interesting. Um, <laughs> that's pretty much it for this look, though. Everything is done. Flags. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I would love to see your St. Patrick's Day looks. Um, like this video, leave me some comments, and please make sure to subscribe. And check out my Instagram at tayrex94 pictures. I The more I look at this, the more I love it. I've decided that, actually. Um, I might just spray a bit more setting spray to make sure it works. It's very, very interesting. Anyway, I think that's it for today's video. Like I said, if you like what you saw and enjoyed this tutorial, like, subscribe, all that jazz. My name is Taylor. And I am done.